We are now reaching out to Gabrielle Tetro farber She is the Moscow-based correspondent for Agence France Press. So thank you for joining us, Gabrielle. Uh, let's begin with the reaction in Russia to this latest announcement, the ban of Team Russia from next month's Paralympics. Well, Russia's sports minister, Vitaly Mutko, said that they would challenge the decision in court. Uh, he said that he wasn't sure whether this would go to the Court of Arbitration for Sport in Lausanne or some kind of other sport. Mutko said the decision was unprecedented. There have been lots of unprecedented decisions uh, in Russia's path to Rio, and this would be only the next one. The president of uh, Russia's uh, Paralympic Committee, Vladimir Lukin, also said that athletes should not be punished uh, overly, uh, in, a, in a harsh manner, uh, that doesn't require them to be, if they haven't offended, uh, violated uh, doping uh, regulations, it should not be punished harshly. So Russians are not happy about this at all. They narrowly escaped a blanket ban by the IOC for the Olympics, which are ongoing right now, uh, and they have a month to fight, uh, fight this decision now. Well, as you say, Russians aren't happy with these type of decisions, especially since uh, the, uh, the Paralympic uh, Committee seems to have taken what was called the nuclear option uh, by, uh, by uh, Jacques Rogue. Uh, that, excuse me, Thomas Bach. Uh, that said, how do Russians respond to all this? When they hear systemic doping in Russia, do they believe systemic doping actually takes place or do they deny that? Uh, the authorities deny all the findings in the McLaren report. They deny state involvement in this. Uh, and their official narrative, their policy is there has never been any state-sponsored doping. There isn't right now, and there will never be. Uh, and the authorities reject it, and the population also rejects that theory as well. There's an interesting survey that was uh, published by an independent pollster, Levada Center, last month, who found that found that 71% uh, of Russians doubt that there's actual state involvement in any doping cover-up schemes that we've heard about. Uh, so there's lots of doubt and there's lots of frustration with international uh, sports bodies. Russians really feel that they're being unfairly targeted. Uh, they say the main argument is, well, there's problems like this in other countries as well. Why aren't they being punished as well? Uh, and the Kremlin really has argued for, uh, for there to be individual responsibility rather than collective responsibility, which means you should punish the athletes who dope and not the whole team. Um, so Russia's really... Uh, it's just an extension of what happened ahead of the, the Olympics. Well, if, if they believe that there is politics at play here, then how are the games of Rio being received in Russia? Are people paying attention, or do they see it uh, all as a spectacle that they can now ignore? I mean, the Russians have been actually really into uh, into these games because there's all this suspense, three weeks of court cases uh, uh, at CAS and at various instances, and the, the IOC coming back and saying, no, actually, we have the final say, not the International Sports Federation. So there's a lot of buildup to these games here in Russia. And in the end, uh, the whole reaction, the athletes, the public, commentators on television, basically, it's like, let's go out and get them. We're at the Olympics, and we... We faced foreign adversity and we're here and let's go get the medals. Uh, Russia won its first medal yesterday in judo uh, and the, head, the president of the Russian Olympic Committee said, well, this is an answer to all the ill-wishers out there. All the answers to the ill-wishers. How about the, the, uh, for the presidency, the government in Russia? Are they under criticism for the allegations of doping or have people completely sided uh, with the Russian government and say that this is a political scheme? Uh, I mean, obviously, some people recognize that there might be issues in Russia in terms of doping, and the authorities recognize that as well. Uh, in terms of recognizes the, recognizing the extent of the state's participation in some kind of doping, doping cover-up scheme or anything of that sort, what we heard about the Sochi Olympics, uh, there is not support for that theory in the country. People generally think that there's some politics involved, that Russia is being unfairly targeted, and that the authorities are right to protest these types of decisions.